Hello and welcome back to Linear Algebra. Now, in today's part 15, we will continue talking about the matrix vector product. In particular, we will look at the so-called row picture. However, of course, as always, many, many thanks to all the nice people who support this channel on Steady, via PayPal or by other means. Okay, now as in the last video, we consider a general matrix A with M times N entries. Or to say it in other words, we have M rows and N columns. However, this also means that you could see a matrix as a collection of exactly M row vectors of size N. So you could see the table of numbers here as separated rows on top of each other. Therefore, now we introduce a name for each row here. And in order to distinguish it from the column picture from the last video, we call the rows now alpha. Of course, then the first row should have the index 1 and I also put in a T in the upper index. Why we do this will be clear in a minute. However, first I want to finish the picture, so we have exactly M row vectors, so the last one is alpha M. And you see, each row vector we can simply define using the entries of the matrix A. More precisely, alpha IT is defined by the row vector AI1, AI2 and so on until we have AIN. There of course, the index I stands for the ith row. Okay, and now I should explain why I use a T here in the notation. Indeed, this T here stands for transpose. And this is an operation that can be applied to every matrix. However, this is something we will define later. At the moment, I just want to use this term for row and column vectors. And indeed, there the T just says that we can switch between the column and the row vector. For example, if I have such a column vector here with entries u1, u2 and so on, and I put a T in the upper index, then this column vector becomes a row vector with the same components. Hence, you can say the information inside is the same, but the presentation is different. In fact, this is what you definitely should remember, the transpose of a column vector is a row vector. And of course, also vice versa. However, now a question from your side could be, how does this help us here? Now, to see this, the first thing you have to recall is that a row vector is simply a very flat matrix. More precisely, it's an element in the set r to the power 1 times n. Moreover, this means that the matrix vector product makes sense for this flat matrix as well. In other words, the combination utx is defined. The only thing we need is that the number of components coincides. Okay, so you see, this is not complicated at all, but we definitely should look at an example. So let's apply the matrix vector product in this case for concrete numbers. So maybe our row vector here is 1, 3, 5. And the column vector x can be given by 2, 4, 6. And now for the calculation here, you can simply use the definition of our matrix vector product or the column picture from the last video. Essentially, of course, it's the same thing. We multiply 2 with 1, 4 with 3, and 6 with 5, and then we sum up. So you see, we can do the calculation, and something comes out. And the important part is, it's a real number. Or more precisely, you would say, it's a 1 times 1 matrix. However, if we see it as a real number, we can connect it to another mathematical object in linear algebra. And you might already have recognized this, it's simply the standard inner product in R3. So we have the one column vector on the left and the other column vector on the right hand side in the inner product. And of course, as you can see, this fact does not hold only in R3, but also in general in Rn. Therefore, you should remember for two column vectors uv in Rn, the matrix vector multiplication utv is simply the standard inner product of u with v. Or in short, instead of using the pointed brackets, now you can also use this combination for denoting the inner product. 
Okay, now with this information, we can go back to the row picture of the matrix vector multiplication. Of course, as we see in the title, this is the main topic of this video. In fact, now we have all the ingredients to discuss it. So what we want is an interpretation for the product AX. And for this, let's rewrite the matrix A again with the rows. Hence, there we have the rows from alpha 1 to alpha m. Okay, and then from the right hand side, we apply our vector x that has n components. And then we know from before and from the definition of the matrix vector product that we have an inner product in each component now. In other words, here in each component, we find the combination alpha t with x. Hence, this is something you can remember in each entry, we simply have the standard inner product. Moreover, please there never forget that x comes from Rn and the resulting vector here is in Rm. Okay, there we have it. This is the row picture for remembering the matrix vector product. And then for closing this video, let's look again at an example. Of course, it's suitable to choose a simple one again. So A can simply be a 2 times 3 matrix with the entries 2, 1, 2 and 3, 2, 1. And then we multiply it with a vector x and maybe it has the components 3, 1, 0. Okay, and now we have learned with the row picture that we can simply combine this row with this column in the standard inner product. Hence, this calculation gives us the first component in the resulting vector. And then, in a similar way, by using this row and this column in the standard inner product, we get the second component. Therefore, now we can simply finish the calculation and get 7 and 11. Okay, so you see, this is not a complicated calculation, but something you have to know when you deal with the matrix vector multiplication. And please don't forget, we have defined it in this way because it was helpful for the systems of linear equations. However, now this row picture here will help us to generalize this multiplication to all matrices. This is what we will do in the next video when we talk about the matrix product. This means we will answer the question how we can multiply two matrices. Therefore, I really hope that I see you in the next video. Have a nice day and bye.